back to the 66 Chevelle and uh, we're almost ready to put the motor back in. I'm waiting for a couple more bolts. Uh, I, I suppose I could put it in, but I just didn't have the time this weekend. We got so busy. Uh, but uh, the engine's ready to go back in. I got the wiring harness. I'll I think I'll attach the engine wiring harness to the engine before I drop it down in there. Uh, should make things easier. Um, I spent some time cleaning up the engine compartment this weekend, and I used a new product that I, I think it's new, Dawn Ultra Platinum Power Wash. And uh, this is supposed to be really good for heavy grease. And there was a lot of heavy grease on the transmission and around the engine compartment. So I sprayed this on the firewall and uh, um, different parts of the engine compartment. And uh, then I just took a, a, a towel and wiped it off. Let it set a little while uh, and I took towel. And I think it looks fantastic. Um, I did uh, spray paint a few parts uh, down in there just to make them look a little, a little nicer, a little cleaner. Uh, because when I cleaned the grease off of that, it actually uh, came down to bare metal. So I didn't want to leave any bare metal down on that. But uh, yeah, this car is coming along uh, quite nicely and uh, <laughs> we should have her back together pretty quick. We're out here working on the 1966 Chevelle Mordor, which is over there. And we're getting ready to put the engine back in, but I thought I would treat it to a new wiring harness for the uh, at least the engine. Um, because I saw a lot of uh, wires in here that didn't look so hot, and I'll show you that. I've got the original wiring harness on top and uh, up here, and the, the new wiring harness on the bottom down here. Now, this uh, wiring harness comes from Midway Muscle Car, okay, and uh, they make it to the exact specifications General Motors did and even give you the... Uh, Grafo, Grafo grease and this grease is basically the same formula that GM would use to uh, put on the back of the wiring harnesses here which gave a nice uh, seal to the wiring harness to make sure any moisture or anything didn't get in there so here you can see you know kind of what it looks like after 50 years it kind of all hardens up and whatnot and provides a nice uh, moisture barrier there so looking at this wiring harness over the years, if you see the uh, green wire going to the sensors, I mean, look at this. I guess this has uh, been heated up and melted and, and whatnot. Um, and then as, as we get out to the actual uh, starter, um, I mean, you can just see that uh, the wires are just dirty and grody looking. And uh, I just don't want to have any problems there. So with the new wiring harness, of course, uh, you know, these wires are going to the uh, wiper. This is a very simple wiring harness uh, with just a couple, you know, it's got warning gauges. Uh, so uh, really only have a temperature sensor. And uh, this one goes to the oil pressure sensor, but they just go to dash lights. And of course, you got the uh, wire going to the distributor. But, uh, yeah, it's this is a nice wiring harness, and these guys got it to me really, really quick. I had a little bit of excitement when they said it was going to be two weeks, but I think that was just uh, you know the sh the shipping through the United States Postal Service. They were just giving themselves some padding. I complained about that a little bit, but they assured me I'd get it right away, and I did. So uh, shout out to Midway Muscle Cars. I buy this stuff. Uh, through eBay, and uh, I've had quite a bit of luck with their wiring harnesses so far. I'm not sure exactly who makes this for them. Maybe American Auto Wire. I'm not sure. Maybe Midway is the manufacturer, but uh, good, good manufacturer. All right, so I thought I'd do this little video mainly for myself. Um, basically, uh, I've got the engine wiring harness uh, put together here. And uh, this goes into the bulkhead on the firewall. So that's going to plug in once we get the engine sat down in there. And, of course, that's going to have a uh, pink wire and this cloth wire going to the positive side of the coil. Okay? The pink wire is going to be a full 12 volts. Okay? When we turn the ignition to the start position, we'll get a full 12 volts through this entire points coil distributor system. 
when we turn back to the run position, uh, the resistance wire here is going to knock the voltage down to about 7 volts. Okay, so on later model cars, they went ahead and put a resistor on the firewall. But here on the 66 Chevelle, we've got a resistance uh, wire that knocks it down to the 7 volts. On the other side of the coil, which is going to the distributor, okay, so we've got a wire coming out of the distributor going to this negative post, and then we've got the uh, filter. Take a look at your filter. Uh, make sure it's not, uh, you don't see any cracking. Sometimes there's a rubber boot here. You don't want to see any cracking there. Um, discoloration or maybe uh, expanding. So that's going to be your filter for your, I think, your radio. Okay. Uh, the other wires you'll see here, uh, this is going to be going to the uh, wiper system. Okay. And then as you, uh, there's a blue wire here. This is going to measure the oil pressure. Of course, I don't have a gauge, so it's just an idiot light. And then another uh, temperature gauge on the front of the motor, which will be this green wire. Okay? So that's pretty basic for, uh, it's just a warning light. Pretty basic for this car. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spin the motor a little bit. All right, so so uh, that pink wire we were talking about is going to go over here. Okay? And... Uh, um, of course, we've got a purple wire is going to the inch side of the motor. That's uh, that purple wire is going to trigger the starter to go in the correct uh, position. And then, uh, of course, we got the uh, um, the battery cable connected to the main post here. OK, so that's going to go directly to the battery. All right. So that's about it. As far as uh, this system goes, it's it's pretty simple. Um, and it, the reason I did this, it's a lot easier to hook this up on the engine stand. Of course, uh, you know, instead of underneath the car. But I usually, <laughs> hey, one tip here. You know, when you paint this block, don't forget to rub the paint off of this because we need to ground the starter to the block. And I always used to mess that up. I put too much paint there and then the starter would turn real slow. So don't forget to do that. Um, we've got this little, uh, I don't know, uh, pressure relief thing that's going to get connected in here to, and, uh, for the transmission strain relief. Um, I've got the, uh, the, uh, orange wire is going to get hooked up to the, uh, heater and uh, the heater blower. And yeah, that's about, that's about it for the wiring. Very, very simple on this engine. Okay. Let's get to work.